Ladies and gentlemen, the side of impact in the ballot! Give me a hell yeah! Good sir, how are we doing today? Good man, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Is anybody else joining from the band before we get started? Oh man, I sent the link to the guys. It was a little last last minute, but I mean, we can get started if... No, that's cool. Even it. if it's just you, let's, let's party, man. Let's have a good time. First, if you could... Do it. Please properly introduce yourself. Let me know whereabouts in the world you're hanging out right now and plug or promote anything you'd like. For sure. My name is UJ. Um, I'm in the side of Impact. I play guitar. Right now I am at my house, my parents' house, um, in my room, hanging out. Just got out of work a bit ago. Um, you know. And you're in Texas. Texas. You're in Texas, so right? Guitar? Yes, yes, Texas. Donna, Texas. I'm sorry. Forgot to mention that. Donna, Texas. All the way at the bottom, all the way at the bottom of Texas, basically 15 minutes away from Mexico. So we're out here. Hell yeah. And then uh, what's what's your guys' uh, social media links, just so everybody knows where to follow you? For sure. You can just search us at the site of Impact on Instagram, um, Facebook, and on Twitter, uh, T-S-O-I official. Um, and TikTok, also the site of Impact. And yeah, you can, you can hit us up on those. Um, we got... A website hopefully coming soon. I've been trying to get that going. So, Excellent. you know, we're trying to get up, up there for easy access for everyone to, to be able to Very get cool. us up. Tell me some history about the band. How long have you guys been together? Is everyone originally from Texas or did, did somebody move there to specifically be in the band? How did you guys get started? All right. Um, the Side of Impact was actually going on for a few years before I joined the band myself. Um, I joined the band in 2013. I was a senior in high school. Um, I would be going to football practice and everything. After football practice, I'll go to band practice. And um, they picked me up then, but they were around since I think 2009, you know, when they barely started out with their original, original members at that time. And they were fresh out of high school, I think, too, when they first started. So um, right now, the original members from that time um, is our singer Moises and Aaron, our bassist, and then of course myself. Um, I've been here since 2013. So Andrew, our our other guitarist, um, joined in about 2017. He, we picked him up, and then in about 2019, we picked up our drummer Hector. And them two, they were actually in a band themselves. Um, back, um, they they've been around in bands and stuff around here in our scene. So they're pretty well known already. And you know, we picked them up. And we've been hitting it hard since 2017, 2019 with the new music. Um, so all that other music was um, before that was with the past previous members that we had. Okay, cool. Uh, now, I noticed that you guys must be huge Spider-Man fans. Because not only oh, is there a Carnage song, there's a Venom song. Yeah. So I imagine sooner or later, there's going to be a Peter Parker song, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> and I got a little one right here on my wall. Here, I see so. it. There's something yeah. moving. It's tripping me out because I'm looking at you, but in the background, there's like something moving in the mirror. Like th the mirror keeps like wiggling back and forth. And I'm like, what? what is that? It's tripping me out. Oh, or, man, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, if you can I know the mirror is facing my door and I have like a skateboard and stuff on hanging off the side of my door. And I don't know what's moving, but I know the, the fans up there swinging with the shadows. So maybe that's what you're seeing. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, how'd you link up with Dropout Kings? Man, uh, I linked up with Dropout Kings. Um, I, man, if I remember correctly, I had added Adam on Facebook, and you know he was doing the push, the push, um, digital marketing yeah. stuff, and I was like, you know what, um, let's give it a shot. Let's just work with him. He looks like he's, um, you know, starting off new, and he can help us out with anything that we might be interested in trying. I mean, and I reached out to him and sure enough, he's an awesome, awesome dude. And he just all about helping my, um, our band and plenty of plethora of other bands that he's been helping out. So we linked up with them in about 2020 with him and we've been working with him ever since. And then, you know, I saw him post like a little 
um, the features thing. And I was like, you know what, man? Like, I hit him. I texted him. I was like, yo, would you be down to to feature in in our song? But both you and and Eddie. And he was like, let's do it. So it took a while. We had recorded the track like months before, mm-hmm. and then we sent it out to them. And they were on tour, and they're busy. They're doing their things. And once they had the time, they recorded their vocals and. We got it back and we were just blown away. We we're like, "Yo, this is exactly what we envisioned f- to do." That's so crazy. Was, that's- if, if you know any Dropout King fans, we're actually doing a GoFundMe for them right now. Where uh, what? they recently, had, like, one of their engines broke down for their touring vehicle, so they have a, another touring vehicle. But uh, we're trying yeah. to help uh, raise some money for them. If anybody in the chat is interested, type exclamation point GFM. And uh, you guys will be able to donate there. Plus, you get a wheel spin. Me and UJ will do something crazy. But let's play that song, Idle Life. Let's see what we're talking about here. Yo, who did uh, who did the audio recordings? Man, our main man, Wade Concien. He's out of Houston, Texas. Man, that guy does literally it all, man. That guy records our music. That guy records our music videos. He edits them. He mix and masters everything. He does it all. He makes our lyric videos. He helps us, you know, with with whatever we need, pretty much. Everything we ask him, he's like, I got you. Hell yeah. So that guy is amazing. He used to be in a band um, called Like Monroe, um, like years back, and they were signed to E1 um, Recordings. And, you know, they were, they were doing some stuff. They were touring and everything. And luckily, he was looking around, shopping for his... Uh, clients at the time and then we hit him up and man we we're we we're like let's this guy is amazing so like i said he's Hell been doing yeah. everything since our first recorded song every single thing you hear is recorded by him that's awesome i noticed that your drummer has the phantom of the opera going on does he wear that while playing live oh man he is gonna wear it while playing live um he's we've been talking about all that um recently Crazily enough, we haven't played live, unfortunately, since 2019. And we are right now, as we speak, rehearsing again um, and getting back into shape to go back out there and start playing all the new music. Excellent. Yeah! Excellent. Excellent. Hell yeah. I do want to play a little bit more of this song. Which I- Let me ask you this. So they, they probably weren't there for the video shoot. In that, is that correct? Correct. In, no, that, in that instance... How how do you go about getting a bigger artist to still be in the video? Like, what what is the th- thought process behind? Well, it's it's more expensive to fly them in to be in the video shoot, so we can just explain to them shoot this way, this way. Like, how do you guys do that? So, um, I mean, l- like I said, Adam is awesome. So I'm just able to like hit him up and talk to him on a regular basis. And I hit him up and I was like, dude, like, y'all did the 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 song. Would y'all be down to? to come out in the video as well and um my first initial thought was you know like get them to fly out or we fly them out and you know reimburse them or whatever it was to fly them out over here to do the music video but you know that's really hard to do with their schedule and our schedule and it lining up and everything you know they're really busy and we're trying to get our things going when we can so it doesn't always line up so we just i remember i think he said like you know green screen so we went ahead and did that and they just recorded it green screen with whoever did their video with their video stuff i think it was chucky that did that that recording um and you know they just sent it over and sent it we gave it to wade and he put it in there and he did all his magic he just freaked it and he made it into what it is and it looks awesome i mean that's pretty much exactly what we envisioned when with the whole TV and us sitting and looking at it that obviously there's no actual TV there we're looking at a green screen also so all of that stuff is like I don't know it's pretty crazy you get to be an actor for a day I love it exactly. yeah hell yeah before we jam carnage uh, I do want to do some trivia I know you said you're not good at trivia but let's see the cool thing is <laughs> you get to pick the topic what movie or TV show have you seen more than any other movie or TV show. It doesn't have to be your favorite. You've just seen it so many times that if I ask you trivia on this, you will not get it wrong. Oh, man. I mean, I feel like everybody has seen that 70 show like a million times, like 
all the way through. So I'm going to have to go with that. Okay. Give me a second to find some 70s show trivia and let's jam Carnage. What's the, is there a correlation or reference to, to the song Venom? Are they somehow related? Oh man. So the, the craziest thing with that, um, we had released Venom, um, back when we released in 2020 and people were, were, were digging it. You know, obviously it was Venom, you know, from Marvel and, you know, plus with the lyrics, you know, whatever meaning behind them that Moises had behind them. I honestly don't even know the meaning behind it, but, um, yeah, so we put that out and then we had a good, like someone comment on our Instagram, um, post on that one. He was like, so you all put out venom is there going to be a carnage you know with a question mark and that like when i read that i was like you know what that might be a good idea so we had that in mind we kept it in mind you know what let's let's write a song and call it carnage and pretty much be the opposite of venom because venom is very like metalcore um inspired and um you know rock um metal you know event sevenfold type solo stuff and um, then with Carnage, it's very poppy. So we were like, let's do the opposite and that's cool. you know, see what one thinks about it. Good explanation, too. That's, that's cool. The hardest question I've asked you all day. Here we go. In that 70s show, what is the name of the place where Eric and Red work? Isn't it Foreman and Sons? like muffler shop or something like that or was it the there's two places cause... it's it's the other place okay the the supermarket but what is the name of it what is the um, name of the supermarket dang um you might have to go get the tabasco my friend it's right here right in front of me i'm telling you i think it's a stump <laughs> i think it's a stump i'll give chat a second I'll also do some hot sauce with you. Pick a number one through thirteen. Um, seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have Damn. chosen. I have a lot. <laughs> Havana habanero whiskey hot sauce is actually pretty damn good. It could go on uh, some wings. Let's talk about the new song before we do the hot sauce. Um, sure. Tell me about what can you say. What is this song about? What can you say? Um, it's basically about, um, you know, everyone has stuff that they're going through in their lives, um, whatever it may be, everyone's different. Um, so this song is basically about like not giving up and what can you say to somebody, you know, to help them um, not give up, you know, or what can you say? What can you do? Um, Cause you know, everybody can, Everybody is always saying the same things like, oh, like, um, you know, sending my condolences, you know, so I'm sending out prayers and, you know, like everyone does that. But what can you actually say? What can you actually do to to help your friends, your family um, who are going through a hard time, you know, depression, anxiety, um, anything, anything that it might be. So that's basically in a nutshell what what can you say is about. I like it. I can dig it. Let's jam it and cheers, my friend. You don't have to do that much. Just take a little swig. Yo, it's, they're all bangers, bro. They're, Thank you. They're all they're all bangers. For real. Thank you. It's really good stuff. Side of impact. If you guys are enjoying it, please, please, please support him. Support the band. Hit the follow button. Totally worth it. Redemption trivia. Oh, my pleasure. Redemption trivia. Here we go. In that 70s show, this is a weed show, so it's kind of a weed question. The gang is painting a marijuana leaf on a water tower. Who falls off the water tower in that scene? Also. That is correct! Give me a hell yeah! Kelso does fall off. I'm gonna rip the bong. UJ, are you a cannabis user? It's okay if you're not. Just, just curious. Okay, man. Um, I, 
am not, man. No worries. No worries. Is, any, least, is anybody least, in the van? At least not lately. Um, yes. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I'll take Smoke it. I'll take day. it. I'll take it. If uh, if if you were to play one of your songs for somebody that had never heard your music before, and you can't pick anything that we've already played, what mm -hmm. are you playing in the headphones when you hand it to them? You got to check out my band. When you hand them the headphones, what song that we haven't played yet would be in the headphones? Um, dude, man, that's that's a tough one for sure. I think I'm gonna have to go with Unrealistic, man. Why did you pick that one? Because that one, honestly, I um not to be like like prideful, super prideful or anything, but I had a lot of writing um in the writing process for that one. Um so I came up with a lot of the the riffs and the drums and you know, pretty much the whole structure of the song and the idea behind it and the lyrics and a lot of it was very personal, so it was pretty cool. I mean I felt really uh, accomplished, you know, to do I that. A lot of, yeah, so a lot of the times, um, Moises and I write the music all the time, but a lot of times Moises writes, like, a big majority of it, or has at least has a lot of it mapped out already, and then I come in and put my ideas and my riff ideas into it. So that one was, like, straight up, like, I came to him with the idea, with that one. So You were like, I got something, dude. Let's jam. Exactly. <laughs> Just like that. Yo, do me a favor. When when the show is ready to go, please come over here to Southern California and, and rock us, bro. All bangers. Oh, All bangers. We, that is the plan, man, to reach to reach out everywhere, man. So what we will definitely keep that. Excellent. Excellent. Hell yeah. Looking forward to it. I really have time for a couple more questions. I know you I saw Super Mario in the background. Obviously, you That's play a little bit of video games. Best three video Hello. games ever made, in your opinion. What was that? I'm sorry. Best. What are what are what would you say are the best three video games ever made? Okay, best three video games ever made. That is tough. Um, I'm gonna have to go with number three being Call of Duty. Just as a whole, all Call of Duty series. All of them. I, I love all of them. I know they get so much hate nowadays, but you know I. I love Call of Duty. I'm, of I'm course, not, Call I'm of Duty Mobile. Of course, Call of Duty Mobile. It was, was really fun for a while when I was playing it, but I, I got off of that one. But it was really fun. But every Call of Duty that comes out, I pick it up. I play the crap out of it. And yeah, so I always have fun with Call of Duty. Um, number two, I'm going to have to go with Mario Party 5. Mario Party 5 was the funnest in my opinion okay and then for number one i'm gonna have to go with resident evil as a whole series also what's the best resident evil oh man Ugh, i feel tough. like i uh, played resident evil 2 the most as far as like hours i put into it because th that was yeah. back in the day when there was like there wasn't a whole lot of like youtube to be able to search how to beat those games and I refuse yeah, to buy like the little playbook, like the book that that you could like cheat and figure out how to do everything. And that, so mm -hmm. I, I feel like I put a lot of hours into that one. But I've I've played just about all of them too, and I like how it's like evolved over the years. Yeah, I like the new ones, and the, I mean they're also getting a lot of um, kind of a lot of hate, and there's a lot of people that like it. I really like the new direction they went in. And next, I'm excited for the next one, and then Resident Evil Four is going to be remastered too for the newer consoles. So. I'm excited for that, but my best one that I think I'm probably going to go with Resident Evil 2, but the the remake, the remastered one, because um, the old one, I really loved that one, um, but yeah, well, the same thing you were saying, as I was a kid, I never got past like the first part of it, because I was like, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know where I was going. Mm. I was like, I was like, you have no... limited ammo. The knife doesn't yeah. work after a while. Yeah, exactly. And then the whole fixed camera things. I was just probably too young when I was playing it. But I mean, I was trying it, and then 
you know nowadays i'm able to play it and i know what's what's up with it is with, with the whole youtube i was able to check it out and when i when that came out and yeah but resident evil 2 the remastered one for sure final question for you sir and then i'll let you go uh i ask every artist that we have on the show this final same question what is a piece of musical advice that you can share with us that uh somebody told you at the in the many years that you've been in the band or any other musical project that kind of was an eye opener. Maybe it made you take your career a little more serious or yeah. a really bad mistake you made early on that you don't want a starting up band to make. Okay. I'll probably go with the, the first one. Okay. Um, so man, yeah, I've definitely heard a lot of advice over the years, but I think the best advice that I've ever heard, um, it's coming from the boy Adam Ramy himself, um, always posting inspirational stuff. You know, I know that um, not to compare yourself to anyone else, no one else, any local bands around your area, um, anyone that you look up to, just don't compare yourself. Just look at what you're doing and feel. look at it and just really know that that's what you do, that's what you did, that's what you're doing, and just be happy for that. I mean, everyone's got their paths. Everyone's going to get there at some point. Just And also don't give up, of course. Just keep going. Keep going strong. Um, there's been many times where not just myself, but other members in this band, you know, wanted to just quit and not do it anymore. So we kept it going. You know, a lot lately we got in the right path with talking to Adam and other people that have helped us like launch our success that we've had whatever little amount of success we've had and i mean i i really think adam i really think i'll just throw out jesse lee from um i mean he's on TikTok and instagram and everything and you know a lot of people that i've just been able to hook up with because of adam and um even other i mean everyone in that band and dropout kings honestly those guys are awesome so. Those guys are awesome, man. They are awesome. And uh, shout out to the GoFundMe that we have set up for them. Hopefully we can hit that goal fairly soon and uh, send them all that money so they can get a couple of engine repairs done. That'd be cool. But UJ, this is a lot of fun, man. I appreciate you doing this. I appreciate you sticking to your word. If I stumped you, you did the Tabasco shot. That was cool. All bangers today from the band. Everything we played was solid. Wade kills it on the production. I'm excited for the live show. Please get to California soon. Let me know in advance. We can bring uh, a small army to the show and support you guys. But uh, this is okay. a lot of fun, man. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. So much, too, man. I really appreciate it. Hell yeah. UJ of the side of impact. Yeah, hell yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day, sir.